WWE start. Okay then. Adrian is gonna come out and well why? I have no clue. Like I'm hearing that he wants to say something. EWE Universe. It's been a little while since you've seen your tag one half of the tag team champions of the one of the most successful tag teams upcoming anyway, Crash Ops. Me and PJ Stars have been talking it out, and well, not many people know of my well backstory. If you get me, well, to make it short, uh, I was well a fan watching right where your seats are, right where you're sitting right now, in fact, but just in a different arena. I was watching Raw, and I, I was a big big fan of Roman Reigns and well I always dreamt one day that I'd get in the ring with him and we'd have a one of the best matches in wrestling history yeah so I was basically a fan watching and well I always thought that I'd get in the ring with Roman Reigns and then I saw my opportunity. Roman Reigns was getting beaten up by loads of people. I think it was like Braun Strowman and a, a bunch of other people. He just started getting absolutely pummeled. And I was like, nah, 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 this ain't fair. So then, without thinking, because back then I, well, <laughs> either way. Without thinking, I ran into the ring and I, I gave all of them a spear. Uh, everyone liked what they saw. So, well, WWE was like, well, this man's got on the news. Loads of people were talking about him. Maybe we should give him a contract. But no, I had to go for a bunch of training first, even though I was already in an indie show, but I had to go on a bit more training first before I was on the main roster. But yeah, that's pretty much how I became a professional wrestler you know me of today. Now, here's why I mentioned all of that. Remember what I said at the beginning? I always wanted to be in the same ring as Roman Reigns. Well, I think, because, well, obviously, I've gotten a lot better, so is he. Roman Reigns, this is the next big thing. Come out here, and I'm challenging you to a match at the next pay-per-view. Come on. You pussy, come out here. I'm ready for you. I'm not I'm not I'm not looking up to you anymore. Soon you'll be looking up at me. Come on. Come out here. Where where is he? Come on. I'm waiting for you. Come out, take your time. Is he is he not coming out? Oh my god. Fine. It looks like Roman isn't coming out, so I'll give you a little bit to think about it at least. But either way, me and PJ Styles have been talking, and well, we think it's about time one of us go for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, obviously, I already want Roman Reigns, so I let him. And we've talking with the GM, and he said we, he was looking for one more championship match at the pay-per-view because we already had the legendary championship, the EWE World Championship match. He was looking for one more championship match. So, he said that he'll do a free man Inter intercontinental well a trip a, <sighs> sorry someone's fucking up with my microphone a triple threat match uh, PJ Styles and then two other people and whoever wins goes for the intercontinental championship 
and I am able to say that because, well, the GM told me to come out and say it. But I added that little bit of Roman because I want him at the next pay per view. So Roman, come at me, come at me. I don't care on Twitter. Accept the challenge. Most likely in this ring, accept the challenge. Just do whatever. Just hit me with a spear, a Superman punch. I don't care. Anything you do to me, I guess you accepted the challenge. Now, I believe we're going to be seeing a debuter, so I don't really want to get in his way. Here we go. The first match of EWE tonight begins, and we have the Ruby Champion, out the Alpha Omega. If you don't know, he beat Austin in uh, me and Paul's little online thing. Little ting. And here comes the Demon Hunter. Two extreme men. And well, we're going to see who's more extreme at the end of the night. Here we go, this match begins. An EWE Torture Chamber match. The first ever one. We obviously... The same by its name. We obviously made this match uh, type EWE Torture Chamber. Oh my god. All weapons outside the ring. And there's just like massive impact. Especially with the concrete. What is the Alpha Omega planning to do here? Big strike. Oh, Demon Hunter almost full of, falling in that stack of... Um, Weapons. What is this? Spanish fly from off the top. Alpha Omega may have just gone and won it here. There. Are you kidding me? Cover. What? No, not even a one. Somehow, Demon Hunter kicks out big knee across the face. And what the hell just happened with Demon Hunter? Off the ropes. Punt kick. And Alpha Omega going crazy. Look at this. Wait a minute, ankle lock, oh my god, Demon Hunter, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. And wait a minute, oh, kicks. And a, and a Hurricane Rana, and Demon Hunter taunts as Alpha Omega goes to the outside, and Alpha Omega saying, come on, Demon Hunter, oh, drop kick. Like, did you see that? He went for something different. But then he hit a drop kick into Alpha Omega's head to the barricade. Thrown onto the barricade now. And just punches him down to that concrete floor. Oh my god. Oh! A lot for, a lot of pain for a lot of pain. A lot of trouble in paradise. Going through these two competitors' bodies as they as they as they Oh. As their chests, their faces, their arms hit the concrete. Big knee. Did you see that? Oh my god. And a sling blade. Uh, once again on the concrete. Oh, wait a minute. Another ankle lock. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't going to win him the match, but it's so. It might break Demon Hunter's ankle. Moves around. Kicks. Looks for something big clothesline, Alpha Omega showing no mercy tonight. Saying that it's already over, going to the top. Uh-oh. You can see that stack of... Wait a minute! Kuna Gras! You see that stack of weapons on the outside of the ring. You can see the table. You can see the ladder. This EWE torture match taking the well destroyed demon hunter on a ride here demon hunter i don't think he's responding no straight onto the sledgehammer oh my god no remorse tonight and now taking the leg and just bending it trying to damage it i believe that was on the chair Just don't forget that um, Alpha Omega's strong point is his knees. So, like, if you weaken them up, 
Like, if he hits you with one of his dangerous knees or something, it could actually be game over. But if you soften them up for the majority of the match, you may have a chance of just coming through alive against him. But, like, we've only seen him in one proper match. And that's if you saw it versus Austin. He did win the match, but he's doing so much right now. To Demon Hunter. Wait a minute. Oh! Straight to the mat. Alpha Omega throws Demon Hunter inside the ring. Going to the top turnbuckle. Oh, oh wait. Elbow drop straight to the back. I think Demon Hunter's back is just done. Yeah, look at Alpha Omega. He's realised that he's done so much damage to the back. And he's just taunting Demon Hunter by just doing push-ups on it. And the punt kick again. And now in the corner. Maybe setting up for something. What is this? Oh, and the big knee. Signature move. And now just watching. Throws him in the corner. Throws him into the other one. And a big knee. Demon Hunter needs to try and get back into this match. And I'll again throw him to the other side. Oh, very European uppercut. And throws him back into that turnbuckle. What is Alpha Omega going for here? No, a neck breaker. And it looks like he hurt himself a bit. And now pick him back up, Demon Hunter. And throws him into the corner again. Puts him into the corner. And now throwing Demon Hunter again. Trying to build momentum with him. With his body. And now just staring him down. Trying to wear him down. And throws him up. Again. Look at this. Puts him right back into the corner. And now... Right, no, what's he doing? Big strike! What is Alpha Omega planning to do here? No, no, no. No! Suplex right to the outside on the Kendo stick to the concrete! All these men tried to recover from that. Let's just look at that replay, oh my god. And once more in slow motion, look at Demon Hunter's back. He bounces up at least twice. And onto the concrete, onto the kendo stick. Alpha Omega really pro trying to prove something again tonight. He recovers, lifts Demon Hunter up. This torture match, EWE torture match, has been, well, legendary to say the least. Cover. Oh, what? How the hell has Demon Hunter kicked out at nothing? And taunts. Oh, a basement drop kick. Looks for again. Says no. Big close on. Demon Hunter trying to get back into this. Off the ropes. Big and Seguri. And now lifting. Demon. No. Lifting Alpha Omega up. Big kick. Rolling neck breaker. Signature move. Lifts him up. I think Demon Hunter's had enough. Alpha Omega trying to get into the corner. Demon Hunter saying, well, you need help with that, I'll let you. Puts him in the corner. Kick. Wait a minute, finishing move time. Starship plane. Hooks the leg. No way. Kick. Oh my god, one. Kick out at one. These two not giving up. They don't care that it's, like, not even a pay-per-view. They just want to give it their all tonight. Show what they're made of. Oh, very European uppercut once again. Cutting down the possession. And now putting a table and dropping it. Drops the table. 
Oh my god, did you see that boot? Puts the table inside the ring. Wait a minute. V trigger! Buy out for Omega with the knee. Like I said, it's like his strong point. Demon Hunter doesn't care. Doesn't want to give up. Not just yet. Setting up the table. Demon Hunter, you can see it. He is out of this. Oh, big uppercut. Into the ropes. Wait a minute, throws him over. Wait a minute, don't do this. Alpha Omega spears him through the ropes into the ladder. And replays galore. Spears him through. Spears him in half through the ladder. Alpha Omega putting his body on the line. Big knee. In this torture match. And a sling blade. Let's throw a basement drop kick again. So he's no discus punch. Now going to the top turnbuckle. Surely he's not going to reach him from there. And Alpha Omega running. Saying that you're not going to reach me. Well, I mean, he might. We know Demon Hunter. Hiding behind that table saying, well, if you're going to try and hit me, then you're going to put yourself through the table. Demon Hunter understands. Wait a minute, Alpha Omega. No, Spanish fly, I think. Didn't exactly go through the table. I think what Alpha Omega was planning, but like, still hit the table. Setting up the table. Oh, big kick right to the midsection. Demon Hunter. Nah, Demon Hunter. Just, just got speared in half. I'm surprised he isn't dead. And now, setting up the table. Demon Hunter in a position which I don't like. No, lifting him up. No, jumping over, hey, oh, oh my god, burning hammer through the table. Another replay, MPW, the wolf style. Respects to him as he's got a dislocated knee, burning hammer, jumps over the table, burning hammer through the table, and he says it's over, look. Alpha Omega showing something else tonight, resting in the corner. Saying that now it's over the knee. I think that's called like dark magic. Well, anyway, either way, Omega knee, and there's a three. Alpha Omega gets the W after just well, just destroying Demon Hunter. Look at the wreckage. Right, we're on to like. Wait a minute, he wants to say something. I didn't expect much from Demon Hunter tonight, but I I believe he's gone through a tough time with, well, Thunderbolt and, um, whatever his name is, um, Biker. So, you know what? I want to make a proposal. Demon Hunter, I'll help you fight Biker and, uh, Thunderbolt. Next pay-per-view, why don't we have, like, a best of two thing? So... It's you and Thunderbolt, me and Biker. Well, and it's like I said, best of two. So if I, if I, let's just say we both win, we win the whole thing. If Thunderbolt and Biker win, then they win the whole thing. But let's say I win, and then uh, so like, and Thunderbolt wins even. Then uh, it goes to a tag match. I think you'll agree on that, right? Well, whatever. Just take it easy. Yeah, no. I'll agree with it. Yeah, yeah, no. Depends if they pussies would like to. Okay. So, just rest up backstage and tell us now, Biker, because you're like the leader of this whole revolution thing. Are you ready to fight the Omega? And Thunderbolt, are you ready to fight the Demon Hunter? So, Thunderbolt. 
What do you think of that offer? <laughs> you know, I think it's pretty good. That kid looks like he's got a heart. I mean, he beat Demon Hunter, but I'm surprised he didn't kill him. Hmm. I can't wait. You know, I feel like we should accept this challenge. I'd love to face him. He seems like an opponent I can really, I can really stamp a message on. I know he's new and everything, but, well, I just have a feeling me and him will have an extraordinary match. Oh, no. Okay. So, we are agreeing with the challenge, and... Yeah, no. They kind of put, put a grave of them making it a best of two series, but, like, who honestly cares? Who's going to win either way? You beat Thunderbolt, and... No, you beat Demon Hunter, even. And I'll beat Alpha Omega. Although, you know... They didn't really say what match type, so I think they're leaving it up to us. Yeah. Alright, then. Hold up. Demon Hunter, I want... A steel... Actually, no. You know what? We've already had that. I want... A Hell in a Cell match with you. I don't care. We've already had a steel cage match and I put you through the damn wall. So we're having a Hell in a Cell. What about you, biker? Alpha Omega. Now. Alpha Omega. You do... You do realise that you put yourself in such a horrible situation. Well, I mean, I can't blame you. I want to fight you as well. So why don't we have the exact match you had tonight, but worse. We'll have an EWE torture match, but instead of chairs and kendos and stuff, why don't we have pipes and things? Pipes, uh, tables, ladders, stairs again. I've seen what you can do, but what about with street weapons? That's right. And hopefully, oh, I'm looking forward to this, so hopefully you don't actually regret it. Now, if you don't mind us, we've got some other business to intend to, so get on with the crappy show. Here we go, the hardcore icon. And, um, oh god, my head. And, um, the smoke demon, the new pronounced smoke demon anyway. The wolf making his way to the ring. He'll be fighting Ace because back in the, the locker room last time when they lost the uh, match, the wolf said to Ace, like this is off camera, the wolf said to Ace, this is your fault we lost. You should have gotten up. And I tried, why, why did you get in the way when I tried to drop kick uh, thingy? And well, I said, oh, well, if you think it's my fault, why don't I fight you in the match and let's see who would have really won it or something. We we don't really know. We're just getting reports ahead and argument. Look at the wolf getting really ready. Stin Ace is five. Oh, my God, a Claymore. Watching on the outside, obviously, as the wolf faces off against Adrian. And look at this from the wolf. And lifting him up. The Wolf has to defend his uh, new design legendary championship against White Assassin and Austin and Ace need to face off against uh, Mark Andrews in a handicap match. Jack Hammer kick out. In a handicap match. Just because they lost that match. But it'll be one last time for the Wolf having to fight. Uh, white assassin for the championship and oh my god the wolf don't do it the shotgun kick and now to the top he's not done in the drop zone Stri striking oh, big punch and an elbow and taunting Austin saying come on you're better than this ace ace didn't expect this shoulder tackle wait no sunset flip into the concrete and saying it's over. Austin. You can see him on the outside. Not looking too pleased. With what Ace, Ace's performance at the moment. Oh, that kick out. The Wolf can't believe that wasn't even a one. Wait a minute. Kick. Wait a minute. No way. Danielson special. No way. Using the same move you're supposed to tap out 
well, what he wanted to, to tap out um, Mark Andrews with it. And the Wolf just manages to get out holding his arm. Claymore! And apparently that's just cut ice open. One kick out. And look at Ace just trying. Look at his father like, what do I do next? I don't know what to do. Throws him on the ropes. Ace hanging there. Wait a minute. GKO. GKO. What the hell? Rainbow GKO. And look at Ace just being destroyed by the Wolf. Slingshot. X Factor. And Austin. And turn them to suck it. Austin on the other side. Is he actually going to try and hit that from here? Yeah, he actually did. Austin, you can see him watching in fear right now as his son just gets brutalized by the wolf. And now Arno oh, setting up for the signature move. Spear! And I'm shouting. Wait. Okay, never mind. That was his finisher. One, two, kick out ace. And they're all saying one, two, three. Come on, count. I can't believe Ace just kicked out of the finishing move of the Wolf. Which I thought was his signature. Wait a minute. Oh, a discus punch. And out to the top. Ace is down. And the track and drive for his old signature. One, two. Dog oh, kick out. That almost did it. And now looking for it again. Slowly setting these up. Discus punch. Oh my god. He's just a kid. Well, I mean, even if he does it, it's just a kid. I guess it's quite foolish to challenge someone like the Wolf to a match. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh my god, just spreading the blood across his face like he did against White Assassin. And now lifting him up. Puts him into the corner. And our celebrations. Oh, kick right to the foot and the double stomp. The wolf is banned from using his genocide mode or his blue beast mode in the match against white assassin it wasn't mentioned but that's what white assassin put in a contract clearly fears the beast no the genocide mode of hayden and an oh stfu and he drops it doesn't want to keep it in for much longer grabbing the arm Wait a minute. Cartwheel Moonsault. Showing off his athleticness to Ace. What is this? Oh my god, a poison runner. Ace, I don't think he's got a single bit of momentum in this match. And think about it, he's supposed to be going in with his dad to fight a UFC star. And he can't even beat a different UFC star. Oh, wait a minute or get a single bit of possession but I think Ace is thinking of trying at least and now setting the wolf up he's dazed confused wakes up runs at Ace oh my god and Ace lands on the ropes takes the arm and now again just smudging the blood over the face of Ace these two are both face, but like, I guess the wolf just wants the desire to win. And oh my god, shooting star press. One, kick out. How the hell did he kick out at one? Getting him up. Oh, wait a minute. Flip pole driver! Or better known, better known as Canadian destroyer. And wait a minute. Ace being set up. Austin watching on the outside saying, come on Ace, you can do this, reverse this, no wolf bite, oh this one's over, the wolf bite, the finishing move, one, two, three, the wolf, the wolf wins without even a scratch, without even, without even a feeling of pain.
showing a message to White Assassin. You can see Austin on the outside saying, okay, Ace, it's okay. He, he was obviously too much of a powerhouse or something. But anyway, on to the main event. The Intercontinental Championship match qualifier. Elimination, three men, one winner. Isles. And for some reason, guys, I got tricked. This isn't an elimination match. Again, one half of the Tag Team Champions, by the way. This isn't an elimination match. But it's still for the number one contender of the Intercontinental Championship. So, I mean, still the same excitement, pressure, and what else. And here's someone we haven't seen in a while, the Ghost. One time hardcore champion, just making a brief appearance here. Not actually time of EWE, he left quite a long time ago because he just wanted to improve apparently. But he's just here, and here's Ashley as well, by the way. Alright, we're having. Oh, I'm still trying to get over that massive match from before, and Ashley going. Getting lifted up by the ghost's powerhouse. He just left W. No, he left um, EWE. Well, FWE, should I say? Because he said he doesn't feel like he should be here. There, he just wants to get a bit better at other indie shows, and then hopefully he can join back one day. So I mean, fair play to him, I guess. But well, he he wanted to come back to see how well he'd do. And well, we thought, why not, we saw some of his indie work, why not put him in uh, this match? Because, you know, if he does want to uh, come back, well, this will be the best setback for, well, come back for him. And PJ Styles with a German suplex to Ashley, Ashley with a massive drop kick. Misses the kick. And a clothesline, taking him and PJ Styles out. Well, not really taking PJ Styles out, but, like, it it got him down. PJ Styles really being a powerhouse right now. Clear, PJ Styles has got the ring to himself. He clearly wants this so much. I mean, I'm not even... I, I don't even blame him for, like, being pissed and that. He hardly gets title opportunities, so, like... This is like once in a lifetime pretty much for him. This is like this is like a miracle for him. He needs to capitalise on this on this um shot. And a V trigger. As much as he can. Destroy anyone, play your best. And well try to go for victory. Strikes at the air. And just slams the ghost down and then just takes out Ashley. Again, one half of the Tag Team Champions. Usually, he only actually ever wins the Tag Team Champions. J just a reminder. In that um, two out of three fools uh, had the cell match against Abyss when Abyss was FWE champion. Just a reminder that PJ Styles is the first person I see that actually's got a sledgehammer to actually pin the, at the time, unstoppable Abyss. And also, he... Well, he would have won the championship. He would have actually won the FWE championship if that wasn't a two out of three falls match. And he's looking for the signature move, the axe kick. The ghost getting out of the ring, backing off. PJ Styles saying, come here. The ghost saying, go on, get the pin, I don't care. Actually, I no, wait, the ghost getting back in. Wait a minute. PJ Styles thrown into the turnbuckle. And now PJ Styles gets out. Uh oh. Looks for maybe a German suplex into the turnbuckle. That would have been deadly and just brings him down. Actually, what the hell was that? Wait a minute, caught up! No way. PJ Pile Driver hooks the leg. Ghost is down. Ashley is pinned. Three PJ Styles has gone to the next pay per view to face Mad Dog, and he made it look easy. He's saying, "I'm the one to go into the next pay per view." It's him, not anyone else. And well, let's see how well we'll do against Mad Dog in the next pay per view. This has been EWE. If I sound different, it's because I had a different mic on. I hope this isn't really glitchy and shit. 
oh it sounds really weird so peace